friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am here today to share with you a very exciting video. We are gonna be talking about fast food. I'm gonna share with you 10 fast food restaurants that are nationwide, so you should have no problem finding all of these or the, the majority of these in your area. And I'm going to share with you the best choices that you can make at these fast food establishments to stay within your points, whether you follow blue, green, or purple, these food choices are point friendly, delicious and satisfying and great if you're just on the go and you need food now. So if you wanna hear what my top 10 fast food restaurants are and the best choices that you can make, stay tuned. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter Number one on my list is the all-american mcdonald's there are several great choices that you can make at mcdonald's that help you stay within your points budget but allow you to grab a quick meal on the go so first i want to share with you guys the egg mcmuffin now this is a great breakfast option if you're needing something quick and fast on the go so the points for the egg mcmuffin are eight on both the blue and purple plan and nine on the green plan. So again, if you're needing a breakfast on the go, this is a fantastic choice. As far as lunch or dinner options go, one thing that is great is the Southwest salad without dressing is five points on both the blue and purple plan and nine on the green plan. So this is a great option if you're wanting a quick salad and if you have your own dressing or maybe you just prefer to even eat it without the dressing, you can't beat the smart points on a salad. Another great option is the four piece nugget. That is going to be five smart points on all plans. So again, a great option if you're wanting a quick and easy meal. Next up is the hash browns. So again, back to breakfast. If you are a hash brown person, it is five smart points on all plans for a hash brown. So you can go ahead and grab your egg McMuffin and a hash brown and have a decent pointed fast food meal. Next up is a hamburger. So if you're feeling all things hamburger, you can get a McDonald's hamburger for eight smart points and that's eight smart points on all plans and last but certainly not least is the filet of fish so if you're wanting a fish sandwich it is 12 smart points on all plans so again there's some great options at mcdonald's for you to grab and stay within your points and still allow you additional points for the rest of your meals throughout the day Number two is Kentucky Fried Chicken. You instantly think, no way, it's fried chicken. But there are actually several great options at Kentucky Fried Chicken that are low in smart points. And again, it's chicken, so it's a good source of protein. And it doesn't have to be fried. There are several grilled options at Kentucky Fried Chicken as well. So number one is the grilled chicken breast. You can have the grilled chicken breast for three smart points on all three plans. So the grilled chicken is a great option for three smart points. You can have a couple pieces of grilled chicken for six smart points. Also, uh, the original drumstick, so this is the fried drumstick, is three smart points on all plans. So again, you can opt for the grilled chicken for three smart points, or you can grab a fried original crispy drumstick for three smart points. What if you want to side with your piece of chicken? The best options for sides are the mashed potatoes with gravy is two smart points on the purple plan and four on the green and blue. So you can certainly have a side of mashed potatoes with gravy along with your chicken, and you can even pair that with their corn. The corn is zero smart points on both the blue and purple and two smart points on the green plan so you can have a breast of chicken or a drumstick some mashed potatoes and gravy and some corn and you have a well-rounded meal for really under 10 smart points next up is the mac and cheese sometimes you just want some mac and cheese the mac and cheese side at kfc is five smart points on all plans so you could opt for that instead of the mashed potatoes and gravy and you don't have to feel guilty for five smart points and the last thing at kfc that's 
point friendly is going to be the snack size famous bowl this is going to be six points on purple seven on blue and eight on green granted this is the snack size so it is going to be a smaller portion but you can still have the famous bowl on ww so kfc is a great fast food option number three is burger king so burger king again like mcdonald's is a great fast food option there are several things that you can pick up at burger king that are point friendly so number one is the whopper junior with no mayo that is seven smart points on all plants the entire whopper junior just without mayo now if you want to add mayo to that it is going to be 10 smart points on all plants so again you guys a whopper just a smaller version of it seven points without mayo or ten points with mayo next up is the value onion ring so you can grab your whopper junior in a value onion ring and that is five smart points on all plans so you can have a burger without mayo and an onion ring for 12 points not bad not too shabby burger king next up is the grilled chicken sandwich with no sauce is five smart points on blue and purple and eight smart points on green. So again, skip the sauce. And as you guys know, in my condiments, eat this, not that video, sauce can kill you in smart points. So by skipping the sauce and maybe adding your own condiment to your burger or your chicken sandwich, you can definitely save on smart points. So sometimes getting your favorite food without the sauce is the best way to go. And lastly from Burger King, you can have a nine piece chicken fry for eight smart points on all plans. So again, this is those fried chicken finger type of things, similar to a chicken nugget, but in a fry shape and not bad. Great option to have. Also at all of these restaurants, a side salad with or without dressing is a great thing to pair with any of these items as well. I just didn't mention that because a salad is zero points if there's no cheese or croutons on it. So that's always a good option as well if you're not wanting to spend points on a side. Next up is Taco Bell. So when you're feeling a taco, Taco Bell, in my opinion, is the best choice for a fast food Mexican restaurant. One that you can just drive up, grab your food and go. And the best choices at a Taco Bell are going to be their fresco menu. Basically what this means is there's no cheese and there's no sour cream. And instead they substitute that with a pico de gallo. So it is zero smart points for the topping on your taco. Therefore the items on the fresco menu menu are way less smart points than your traditional crispy or soft taco. So the first item on the fresco menu is the chicken soft taco and that is going to be four smart points on all plans. And of course that is fresco style. So these are all without the cheese and sour cream. Also on the fresco menu is the fresco crunchy beef taco, which is also four smart points on all plans. You can have two tacos for eight points. Not bad, not bad at all. And lastly on the fresco menu is the soft steak taco. So this is a soft taco, which is also for smart points. So a general rule of thumb is if you're picking a taco, whether it's crunchy or soft off of the fresco, fres fresco menu, it is going to be four smart points. So whether you choose chicken, beef or steak, you can't beat a four smart point taco. And the other item I wanted to share with you from Taco Bell is the Doritos Loco Taco. And this is only five smart points. And this is not fresco style. This is just ordered straight up off the menu. The Doritos Loco Taco is five points. And also at Taco Bell, any of their mild, medium, extra, extraordinarily hot sauces are zero points. So you can punch up the flavor of whatever you're buying at Taco Bell with their salsa for an additional zero smart points. Next is Subway. Now, as you might think, Subway is a great WW friendly place to go. Yes and no. There are a lot and a lot of options on the Subway menu that are not point friendly. Never ever get their cookies, my friends. They're like six points for one cookie. No thanks. But there are several great options on Subway's menu for you to have that are low smart points. So number one is 
a six inch turkey on nine grain bread. That is six smart points on all plans. Now, all of these sandwiches are without condiments. So on this particular turkey, it would be no condiments other than salt and pepper and vinegar. You can add all of those for zero additional points, but if you are going to add a light mayo to your sandwich, oh my gosh, mustard. You can also put mustard on there for zero points. But if you are going to add a light mayo to your sandwich, light mayonnaise on a six inch at Subway is going to cost you an additional two smart points. So that same six inch turkey on nine grain bread is eight smart points with light mayo. Still not bad. Also, a six inch oven roasted chicken is six smart points on the green plan, but only five smart points on blue and purple. And again, that is without pointed condiments. Also, a six inch turkey and ham or black forest ham is six smart points on all three plans. So you can add those condiments and really not elevate the smart points a whole lot. You can even add a slice of cheese to your sandwich. Just make sure you're counting those additional points because these point values again are for a sandwich without a pointed condiment just with the meat and the veggies. And lastly from Subway, the six inch rotisserie chicken is going to cost you six smart points on both blue and purple and seven on the green plan. So four or five sandwich options at Subway. You can also turn any of these sandwiches into a salad and all you have to count is the protein source. If you are on the blue or purple plan, if you add their turkey to your salad, it's zero points. And then again, you're only counting for anything that has points, cheese, croutons, dressing. So sandwiches and salads are a great option at Subway. And next, is Wendy's. Another place that is a given as far as being WW friendly, but there are again some good choices at Wendy's and there are some bad choices at Wendy's. So I want to share with you the good choices. So let's start with the well-known WW friendly chili. Now the small chili on the green plan is four smart points, but on the blue and purple plan, it is only three smart points for a small chili. A large is going to cost you six smart points on the green plan, but only five on the blue and purple. So chili is a great option. Make sure you are getting it without cheese. You can add onions for zero additional points. And if you do decide to use the packet of saltine crackers that come with your chili, that's going to cost you an additional smart point. So chili is absolutely a win-win at Wendy's. Next up is the Wendy's grilled chicken sandwich. This is going to cost you nine points on the green plan and seven on the blue and purple. And this is with sauce. So if that chicken sandwich happens to come with mayo or whatever type of sauce is on there, this point value includes that sauce. So that's pretty awesome. Next is the four piece nugget. Now the four piece nugget at Wendy's is actually five smart points versus the four smart points at McDonald's. It must have something to do with the breading that they use, but still a four piece nugget is five points. Now just be aware that if you add any sauce to your nugget, honey mustard, ranch, barbecue, you're going to have to count the additional points for that. These five points are just for the four piece nugget. Also, you can grab the Southwest avocado salad and you can use half of the packet of dressing. So this is the salad itself and half of the packet of dressing and it's going to cost you nine smart points on the green plan and eight smart points on the blue and purple plan. So again, you can't beat it and you're still getting half of the dressing for the smart points. Not bad. And lastly at Wendy's, you can have the crispy chicken sandwich. This isn't the last one, sorry about that. Second to last, the crispy chicken sandwich is going to cost you 10 smart points on all plans. And again, this includes whatever sauce is on there, which I think is mayonnaise, but this is that fried crispy chicken and it's 10 smart points. And now the last item I would suggest at Wendy's is going to be the Wendy's Junior Hamburger, and that is seven smart points on all plans. I always wanna throw in a hamburger option because I love hamburgers and you can have them if you just get these smaller versions of them. So the junior hamburger with mayo, ketchup, all the goodies is seven smart points on all plans. I find myself gravitating towards Wendy's a lot because I feel like for a fast food chain, other than a Subway, it has the lowest smart point options and the most options that are low smart points. So Wendy's for me is the one that I go to the most. Definitely comment down below and let me know which of these is your go-to fast food restaurant. 
Next up is Jimmy John's. Now this is very different from Subway because a half of a Jimmy John sandwich is eight inches versus the six inch that you get from Subway. So I wanted to share Jimmy John's with you because they actually have a fan fantastic low point sandwich option. But first let's talk about the eight inch Jimmy John. So you can have the eight inch Turkey Tom without mayonnaise for eight smart points on the green plan and seven on the blue and purple. So again, this is without mayonnaise. And I will caution you that Jimmy John's does not carry a light mayo. And that's unfortunate that they haven't opted to carry a reduced fat or a light mayo. All they have is your traditional full fat mayo. So be aware that if you do add mayo to these sandwiches, it skyrockets the smart points. So I would suggest adding mustard or maybe a vinegar or even bringing your own side of ranch or whatever it is that you like on your sandwiches. Next up at Jimmy John's is the Thinny Reduced Fat Chips, which I'm excited about this. They just brought these on board, in my area at least, are four smart points a bag. So you can actually have a bag of chips for four smart points, which is a great pairing with a sandwich. So way to go on bringing in a reduced fat chip. Now bring us a reduced fat mayo. And lastly, my friends at Jimmy John's and the best choice in my opinion is going to be the Turkey Tom Unwitch. Now this is the sandwich that does not have bread. So it is all of the sandwich fixins wrapped in lettuce. This sandwich is going to cost you six smart points on the green plan, but on the blue and purple plan, it is zero smart points. Now, if you decide to add mayo and remember it's full fat mayo, the unwitch on the blue and purple plan will then cost you five smart points. So it is five points just to add the mayo. So this is again where I say bring your own condiment, bring your own sauce for your sandwich, save yourself the five smart points, and you can get out of Jimmy John's with a zero point Turkey Tom Unwitch on the blue and purple plan. And lastly at Jimmy John's, if you're looking for a zero point side, they have the best dill pickles. And that is zero points. So you can grab your sandwich and a dill pickle and you have a well-rounded lunch. Next is chick filet. Unfortunately, we do not have a Chick-fil-A where I live, but fortunately we are getting one, which is the talk of this town, is that we are soon to get a Chick-fil-A and it is by where I live, which is amazing because I live in the country. So that's super exciting. So I definitely wanted to look up some point-friendly options at Chick-fil-A. Now, when I was in Vegas, I ate at Chick-fil-A and I found my favorites. So I wanna share with you some of the top WW-friendly items at Chick-fil-A. So number one is the one that we all know and love and that is the Chick-fil-A Grilled Nuggets. So you can have the 12 piece nugget for three smart points on the green plan or zero on the blue and purple. 12 nuggets and they are so good, you guys. Now these are not breaded, these are grilled, but they are D delicious. And you can pair that with a side of their honey mustard for only three smart points. So if you are on the blue or purple plan, you can have 12 nuggets, a side of honey mustard for three points. That's pretty awesome. Next at Chick-fil-A is their fruit cup. Now their fruit cup is one smart point on all plans. And this is a question I see all the time. Why is a fruit cup one point? The reason is, is because that fruit cup contains mandarin oranges. That is where your one smart point is coming from. Now, if you choose not to eat the mandarin oranges, the fruit cup now is zero smart points. But you still can't beat a fruit cup for one point. Pair that with your grilled nuggets. Seriously, you guys, what a low, point lunch or dinner. Next up at Chick-fil-A is the grilled chicken sandwich. This is going to cost you eight points on the green plan or six on the blue and purple. This is the grilled chicken breast with mayo or whatever sauce they use on a bun. You can't beat it for the smart points. Pair that with your one point fruit cup and that's a great choice for lunch or dinner. Next up at Chick-fil-A is the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Now this is the grilled crispy fried chicken sandwich and it is 12 smart points on all plans. So you don't have to always have grilled chicken. You can opt for the fried chicken or the fried fish sandwich. You just have to pay a little bit heftier smart points. But that's one beauty of WW is you don't just have to have grilled chicken breasts for the rest of your life. You can choose to have a hamburger or a fried sandwich and just take the hit on your smart points. So last at Chick-fil-A is the kale 
crunch salad. Now I have no idea what this is, but it is three smart points on all plans. So you could pair this with your crispy chicken sandwich or your grilled chicken nuggets or sandwich and it's three smart points and you're getting in some kale and some greens. So Chick-fil-A again is one of the top choices on WW. Next up is Panda Express. Now this is another well-known WW friendly fast food establishment to eat at. But Panda, again, is tricky, similar to some of these other ones. You have to watch what you're choosing at Panda Express because things like the orange chicken are double-digit smart points. So you want to have some healthier options where you're getting a large amount or a well filled plate of food for low smart points. So I wanna share with you some of the top choices at Panda Express. So number one is going to be the string bean chicken. This is four smart points on the green plan and three on blue and purple. And so this is a serving of the string bean chicken. Normally when you go to Panda Express, you can buy a meal that has several sides. So I'm gonna give you, these are the sides that you could add to that meal or you could just buy these sides individually by themselves next up is the broccoli beef this is also four smart points on all plans so you could do some string bean chicken for four some broccoli beef for four and you have an eight smart point lunch or dinner not bad for chinese food also you can opt for the mushroom chicken and this is going to cost you six smart points as well or maybe you want a mushroom chicken but you're wanting an egg roll as well you can have the veggie spring roll for six smart points so that's a great option to pair with one of these panda sides or as part of your meal also the kung pao chicken and the black pepper chicken are eight smart points on all plans so it's a little higher in points but you can have your kung pao and your black pepper chicken as part of your meal at panda express next up is the wok fired shrimp. This is five smart points. Not bad. So if you're wanting some seafood, the wok fired shrimp is a fantastic option. Also at Panda, on a side note, you can have the mixed veggies for zero smart points. And if you want a little sweet treat after your Chinese food, the fortune cookie is only going to cost you one point on all plans. So again, Panda Express is a great place to go. You have to watch the number of sides that you're getting because if you have three or four sides, your points are going to skyrocket rather quickly. But you can even have a cookie at Panda Express after your meal and stay within your point. And last, but certainly not least, we have to talk about pizza. Your best option for pizza is going to be Papa Murphy's. This is the place that you pick up your pizza and you throw it in the oven at home and they have actually some great options for low smart point pizza. And we're talking pizza, not cauliflower crust, not any type of veggie crust, but full blown pizza. So the first choice at Papa Murphy's is going to be their herb chicken Mediterranean. The family size, which is the largest size that you can get thin crust is seven smart points on the green plan and six on blue and purple. So again, the family size is the largest size pizza. So you're going to have quite a large slice for the smart points. And that herb chicken Mediterranean pizza is so good. It has feta and it has sun-dried tomatoes and it has their chicken that is so flavorful and delicious. So that's a great option at Papa Murphy's. One piece of a family size pizza is plenty for a meal. Next up is the thin crust large size pepperoni pizza is going to cost you seven smart points per slice. Not bad if you want pepperoni pizza. You can also opt for the Hawaiian large thin crust pizza for six smart points per slice, which is still not bad for some Canadian bacon and pineapple. And lastly at Papa Murphy's, another great option is the large thin crust veggie pizza. And this is also going to cost you six points for a slice. Not bad, six to eight points for a slice of pizza is not bad at all. You can even have two pieces, maybe even three and work it into your day. And I have an honorable mention that I want to throw in here because it's some place that most of us frequent regularly and that is Starbucks. So I wanted to share with you some great options when it comes to Starbucks, both food and drink related. So first let's talk food. My favorite thing on the Starbucks menu, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner is going to be their reduced fat turkey breakfast 
sandwich. It is so good and it is six smart points on all plans. It's on an English muffin. It has turkey bacon and cheese. It's really truly delicious and it's nice and filling and satisfying. And they do have this all day long. So you can have this for any meal and you can't beat six smart points. Also another great food option at Starbucks is going to be their egg white red pepper sous vide. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically they're egg bites and those are five smart points on all plans and they are absolutely delicious as well. Now this particular one, the red pepper is the lowest in smart points. So Pick that one if you are feeling some egg bites from Starbucks. And the last food option that I want to share with you is the spinach, feta, and egg wrap. This is seven smart points. So the spinach, feta, and egg wrap is a great choice. Pair that with your cup of coffee. And again, you have a great breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. Speaking of coffee, let's talk a little bit about some of the great point-friendly drinks at Starbucks. Number one is an Americano. That is strictly espresso over ice. You can add a sugar-free syrup to that for zero points. The only thing that is going to have points in an Americano is if you add any type of half and half or creamer or almond milk, but you could have a black Americano with a sugar-free syrup for zero smart points. What I like to do if I'm looking for a zero smart point drink at Starbucks is I will ask them to just add a splash of 2% milk and it's not enough to actually count as points. So if you're looking for either a zero or low smart point coffee beverage, a hot or iced Americano is an excellent choice. Also, another low point coffee beverage at Starbucks is going to be a a skinny 16 ounce or grande latte with sugar-free syrup you can have that for four smart points no matter what sugar-free syrup you choose a 16 or grande skinny or non-fat latte hot or iced is going to only cost you four smart points you guys you can have a breakfast sandwich and a latte for 10 points that's what a lot of us spend on breakfast anyways and it's quick and it's easy and it's starbucks so that's an excellent choice and last for drinks that i want to share with you is one of my favorite non-coffee drinks that is zero yes zero smart points at starbucks and that is the passion iced tea. So when you order this, you have to ask for the passion shaken iced tea unsweetened. Otherwise they put in a liquid sugar and then you're really going to have some points. So ask for it unsweetened and ask them to add either the whole earth sweetener or whatever sweetener alternative of your choice. Have them shake that up with the passion tea so that it gets nice and mixed in there and it's zero points. You can have the 32 ounce for zero smart points. So delicious, it's refreshing, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's absolutely delicious. So one of my go-tos when I don't want coffee at Starbucks. But Starbucks is not out of the question, you just have to make the right choices. All right, my friends, there are my top 10 fast food restaurants nation wide and some of your best choices no matter what plan you're following on ww and i even threw in an 11th one for you just for fun so i hope that this helped give you some great ideas of some of the things that you can choose at your local fast food restaurant now i know a lot of us don't eat fast food all the time but life happens and there are times when we are hungry and we're out and about or it's too late to go home and make lunch or dinner and fast food is an option. So make sure that you're choosing the WW point friendly options, the healthy options, and you can still indulge in fast food on your journey and not feel bad about it. There are also a lot of bad choices at fast food. So I hope that this helped you with several great options at 10 of the most popular, well 11, of the most popular fast food or restaurant establishments. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'd love to have you stick around, join my YouTube community. To do that, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload something new, you don't wanna miss out. I have a lot of these tips and tricks sit down, let's chat videos coming out in the upcoming year. So definitely make sure that your bell notification is turned on and you're subscribed. I'd appreciate a big thumbs up if you love getting these food, fast food, sit down, let's chat videos. And of course, comment down below. Let me know which of these fast food establishments is your favorite or the one that you frequent the most. And what is one thing I shared with you that you had no idea? was WW friendly. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.